Hello everybody and welcome to a brief Jurassic World Evolution discussion video. We've had some new information come to light and we're going to quickly run through those and I'll sort of give you the rundown of what's been updated or what has, you know, what's coming to this Return to Jurassic Park update. Also, you'll be glad to know I've shaved. Wow! My god, the amount of comments I got on having a neck beard. <laughs> So, the first bit of news that so that came to light, really, is on the Jurassic World Evolution official Twitter. Uh, they posted this image, and I had somebody uh, tweet at me, like, straight away, saying, Beavers, have you seen it? So, the caption reads, Alongside Jurassic World Evolution Return to Jurassic Park, the newest DLC that we're getting um, in 10th of December, I think it is, uh, we've got a free update with some awesome new features for you to enjoy. Check out the forum tomorrow for more information. And of course, we have this image. Um, now, it doesn't seem to be anything in particular. Uh, I think we can hazard a guess. I think pe people have guessed that it's a toilet. Um, so really, it's nothing to be too excited about, gotta be honest. But it also means, I mean, because we're getting this and we're also getting Jurassic Park sort of revamp, you know, the old... Uh, everything's made of thatch. Everything's got thatch roofs and stuff. Another big thing to take from this is actually the path, the pavement is different. That's a pavement that we don't have. So it seems like in this free update, I wouldn't be surprised if um, Frontier puts in the basics. So they put in, you have toilets now, uh, you have pavements or paths, like different varieties. Uh, because in the Avery uh, picture itself, it even showed that there was indeed uh, a different path connecting it because we don't really have, we have about two two to three paths if that in the game at the moment but we're gonna get new paths we're getting um maybe even new tourists i don't think i've ever seen that man there wearing that that shirt but do i care <laughs> not really hey. the next biggest announcement comes from stegs frontier who is uh this is a post from the frontier forums and stegs works for frontier and they say hi Compies will be just like the other dinosaurs. You'll build an enclosure for them. They don't have a specific preset exhibit. Oh, thank God. So our worries that we were gonna get another Avery kind of deal um, is squashed. So that, there's all sorts of greatness because I, I was very worried that, you know, Compies are very small dinosaurs. How are you gonna have them interact with, you know, bigger dinosaurs? Is a T-Rex gonna have a territorial display? with, um, you know, a compi. How does that work? We, we've now not only got compies, but we have a new class. So are they gonna be singular? Are they gonna go around in a pack? The only game I can think of is Chaos Island, <laughs> like, where you can control compies in a pack. Although the, pre -de the demo for Chaos Island only had single compies, so not many people will remember that, but someone, for, somehow I got a demo of Chaos Island before it even came out. I remember that vividly as a kid, you could only play the first level. Anyway, besides this point, we're gonna see compies in enclosures. So first I hear you ask, well, how are we gonna house compies? They're gonna jump through the fences? Well, you already know the answer, those of you that have watched the previous previous video to this and that is if we jump to here in the bottom of the fence you can see there is mesh now I don't think the um, the mesh goes all the way up the fence but it looks like it does actually and we've got another nod to um, Jurassic Park 3 with the spikes that actually run along the top of the fence so it depending not only you know you could have the highest uh, security fence but if it doesn't have, maybe it's something you can add on defenses, a bit like, you know, an additional sub menu that you can say, okay, turn on mesh, that costs you so much extra. Or, you know, you can, or is every fence now gonna have a mesh alternative? It's gonna clog up the UI if that is the case, but if it's just a checky box or something, which, you know, ends up costing you money, that's gonna really help. So it used to be the case of whatever animal or dinosaur you had in the enclosure, if you had the biggest fence, wasn't a problem. But now, if you have compies, they might get out. And another reason that I'm really happy that uh, Compi is going to be an outside, you know, its own specific creature and not just a, a fish in a fish tank is that we're going to see Compies attack humans. Now, I don't, usually when these things happen, you have the dinosaur line up with the thing it's killing, or in this case, a human, and then they perform the animation. So I get the feeling that 
Copies might go around in a group. I don't know if that's easy or not, because I can't imagine a person being attacked or even killed by a single compy. Uh, and as we all know, every carnivorous animal in the game, dinosaur I should say, has a kill animation for humans. And because Compi is so unique, we've got unique animations, unique everything. Um, because it's a new species, a new, they can't just put animations onto it. It's going to be interesting. I think because it's so specific, and we're not going to get any other small creatures like Compi that they can transfer the thing to, or maybe who knows, um, it might be a flock kind of creature. That's that's what I'm expecting anyway. And looking back at the Avery, I don't think we're going to be able to view this you know, area from a different viewpoint. It looks like guests are going to be in the bottom left. And of course, all of these cages and what have you are just there for show. I, I think that there is probably going to um, be set animations for specific types of pteranodons. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you click on the Avery and it has like a menu of what you know, dinosaurs or flying reptiles, I should say, are included um, and what are made. There'll probably be different things you have to add, like, I don't know, this doesn't get on with this. Um, I think from some publishing magazine, there was word that a dinosaur can be able to break into the Avery or, you know, they can break out. It should happen. It's gonna happen, whether it's a thunderstorm or whether it's a twister, tornado, um, it's gonna break the fence. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll have Trinons flying around, picking up people, dropping them, or, you know, a unique animation. I, I don't know exactly know what they could, I, yeah, like, cause they've gotta line up human beings. That's gonna be very hard for something that's flying and then can they interact with other dinosaurs. So it would be a lot easier for them to uh, not be able to have them break out. There's a lot less work. And as far as all the other dinosaurs go, um, there's, one, there's something I wanted to bring up here. Um, this is from a post on Reddit, um, and they basically changed the T-Rex head that is supposed to be the bull T-Rex to look more like the animatronic um, by Stan Winston, I think it was. And you, I mean, already the top one is the altered one, if you couldn't tell already. Um, and it does seem there's a big difference. It's, uh, people have said, oh, they, you know, there's a lot of speculation that they've already changed models to the game. I don't think T-Rex is one. I don't think they've changed Dilophosaurus. I don't think they've changed Brachiosaurus. Uh, the only one that they definitely changed is Stegosaur and possibly the Raptors. When I looked at it, I thought, yeah, that's what the Raptors look like. Until I went back and looked at the Raptors and thought, no, these actually, because I'm so used to Raptors looking like this, um, you've got way more prominent on the um, on the sort of connecting, joining bit of the gums, the, I don't know what you would call it, the, the lip line, the lumpy bits, <laughs> that's way more prominent. But again, something like that is done with bump maps or normal maps, it's it's a specular, it's, it's very easy to sort of change, well it's not easy, but it's a lot less work to change that than it is to change the model. And yes, you guys commented that skin over there, on the bottom left one probably is an alternate skin. It does seem a lot darker now that I look at it. And I quite like it that we have similar skins, but they're slightly different. Just like you would get, you know, a little bit of dimorphism with real animals. You know, they wouldn't all be exactly the same color. There's a little bit of variations. And I think, I don't know if it's in here. No, we've just got the Jurassic Park 3 Parasolophuses. Okay, I thought we had the other ones, the Jurassic Park ones. They are in the trailer, however. Um, and, I mean, if we scroll up, oh, which we have to do this, um, it will show the parasaurs, and the middle one is a, that, that one's a little bit yellower shade, and the rest are more pale. And the Triceratops had a change. I forgot about that. Yeah, Triceratops definitely has had its model changed. But, that about wraps it up. Don't want to take too much of your time. Things to take away from the video. Compies are gonna be creatures you make in the hatchery and are gonna require their own enclosures. Also, toilets and a free update for people who aren't even buying the um, the DLC, which is so uh, it's so much appreciated uh, that Frontier are doing this. Not only they're plowing loads of money into making new dinosaurs, new models, new anime, you know, they're having their whole team having to work on these sound effects and everything, but they're also giving us uh, free content for the people that have supported the game in the past and still continue to do 
to this day. So uh, kudos to them. They are, they deserve it. And not only that, but they're working on all the other games like Planet Coaster and Planet Zoo. Honestly, they're, they're going above and beyond, really. And I'm really, really enjoying uh, Planet Zoo at the moment. <laughs> if you hadn't told, if you couldn't tell. But uh, if you join this video, leave a like. I'll uh, I'm gonna finish me resting me tea. And until next time, I'll see you later. Or oh, bye bye.